This is Smoker. He has two cigars and this cool weapon. I think it's called a jeet, a jite, some ancient Japanese thing. He smacks Luffy. <laughs> I'm gonna make it now. I started with toothpicks, rolled them up really tightly into a long tube of paper. This thing's nearly a foot in length. Then I inked and colored it like I'm drawing a manga with some cool grays and a bit of blue too. Inside this bigger stick, I made a little stick with a golden ring at the end. And this is for a bit of decorative rope. I saw many of these things have. And I also just wanted another part to color in. Now we have some gold to go with our silver. This being a separate tube though, means if I ever change my mind and want something different, I can simply just take it out. The cool part is if you cut a tube of paper at exactly 45 degrees, you should be able to flip it around and have it connect to create a perfect right angle. And this is what I did for the second part of this weapon to make this looking, this L-shaped bar. What's this part used for though? Is it like to disarm other people using swords? I don't know, comment below. Anywho, almost done now. Just gonna add the handle and guess what? It's just another tube of paper that will slide around the main bar so I can remove it later if I change my mind and just want another color or something. No commitment here. And the final part, I think, is the blue rope at the end in which I just drew a rope on paper, cut it out, and then tied it into a knot through the ring at the end. So realistic. All right, there was a couple more layers to it, but this is pretty much the gist of it. And once it's fully tied on, I did add a tiny bit of glue to make it more solid. And now it's got like its own little bit of articulation. So you can bend it back and up and down and twist it around because that thing's separate. So it's like whatever direction the wind is going, we can rotate this thing to go against it. Ha ha ha. And the final thing I wanted to add because I've been watching so much Demon Slayer lately, is smoke effects. I mean, this guy literally can turn into smoke. So what if he just lit his sword on smoke? Just had smoke coming out of it. I'm pretty sure he did that in the show. Anyway, here's not one, not two, but three smoke effect parts. And they're simply just drawn in, colored from both sides to look like smoke in a manga or anime. And then there's just a little ring and it slides around the big, it's just, it's all like this. How cool is that? And speaking of Demon Slayer, where there's smoke, there's fire. So we did some fire effects for one of my swords as well. By simply just rolling paper into tubes and coloring it in like a manga, I can make any weapon out of paper.